Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day and I'm pretty sure at this point if you've been watching the videos going up on this day, you're probably tired of me saying that considering we are now three videos in under three hours. It is definitely an anomaly, but it's a new personal record for me, so I'm happy about that. So I've got a bit of a breaking news Nintendo update for y'all. I'm not really known to do these sort of things, especially for Nintendo content, but considering that uh, this week in particular is actually my one month anniversary of owning the Nintendo Switch. I've done a lot of Nintendo Switch videos on the channel and I've gained so much support from people uh, just because I've been talking about the Switch, what I like and what I don't like. Comment down below if you subscribe to me because of the Switch videos I've been doing. Um, it felt really right for me to get on here and talk about this because it's something that actually does pertain to the system and it's in regards to the success of the platform. So we have two uh, new stories to unpack coming from Nintendo. First and foremost, the Nintendo Switch has officially crossed 10 million units sold in just nine months, not under a year. And the second one has to do with the game attach rate. According to Reggie fils yeah, that, that guy, still don't like him. The Nintendo Switch has an insane attach rate. Three games in particular have sold more than 50% with the consoles, and those games are The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and the recently released Super Mario Odyssey. So let's just talk about those statements. First and foremost, the success of the Switch is both surprising, but at the same time, it's expected because of what the device is. This device is a Nintendo handheld. Like I told you guys when the Switch was revealed, I said, yeah, the system is gonna be a success. Why? Because it is a handheld. So at the very least, it's gonna sell more than the Nintendo Wii U, which it's already on track to. In the first nine months, it's already sold 10 million units. I believe the Wii U lifetime only sold 14 million units. So that right there is a definite sign that the Switch is going to be a big success. Is it going to reach the original Wii numbers, the original DS numbers, catch up to the PlayStation 4? I'm not personally sure, but at the very least, we know that this system is going to have a healthy life in comparison to the previous Nintendo consoles. So good on Nintendo for that. I'm happy that the system is a success. Now, in terms of game attachment, again, it's something that is not surprising at all because yeah, Nintendo consoles, Nintendo games, they do have a pretty good attach rate to them. Even with a system like the Wii U, a system that pretty much sold like dog shit because the system was dog shit, uh, the games did sell well. So I'm not surprised, especially considering that Zelda Breath of the Wild was like the only game to play on the Switch for months. Yeah, that was like the only major game you could get on the system. So people buying that game with the system is not surprising. Same thing for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It was on the Wii U. People liked it on the Wii U. People love Mario Kart. So of course it's going to sell. I think it hit a series high uh, with that installment, with that re-release of an installment. And then Super Mario Odyssey, the first major big, like, you must own this game if you own a Nintendo Switch. That game, it was expected to do gangbusters, and it did. But to sell a 50% attach rate, that's freaking phenomenal. That's very successful no matter what game you're talking about. So that's freaking cool, man. I mean, me, myself, and I, being a Switch owner, I own two out of those three games. The other one I will play eventually because my brother's working through it. He has his own Switch, and he's doing his thing. Uh, but yeah, owning the Nintendo Switch, something about it just screams buying games. No matter if they are new releases, no matter if they are re-releases, or if they're just straight up indie titles. Just something about playing those games on the Switch. My library is over 12 games at this point, and I've only owned the system for a month. So if that's any indication that the Switch users go out there and support games, I don't know what is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, hopefully in the future, this success prompts Nintendo to work even harder to make the Switch a better platform. And I've got a whole video coming about that towards the end of the year. It'll probably go up somewhere around Christmas time where I detail all the things that I want for the Switch in 2018 and beyond. But as it stands, this success is definitely going to sway over a lot of third-party developers, whether they're releasing um, remakes of games, HD remasters, or they're going to try to port their newer entries onto the Switch. All that stuff remains to be seen, but I definitely do think the Switch has a brighter future than the Wii U, and fingers crossed, if Nintendo keeps up this momentum and they don't act like freaking dickheads with the system, and of course talking about the online and the features, then I think the Switch is going to go down as one of the most successful Nintendo systems of all time. But I'm, who am I? I'm making this, this prediction really early on, so we'll have to see. Anyways, from me to you for now, my name is NGS signing out, and like always, I will catch you guys later. Peace.